What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, we're back with another showcase video, and this time we got Smoothie, so I ended up getting Smoothie from the Pirate Rumble Sugo Fest with Kizaru and Fujitora, and this was actually the final legend in the game that I needed to get to have all of them as of the 5th of September 2022, so that's absolutely wicked. We have a lot going on right now, so we have every single Sugo Fest exclusive, so whatever happens, we can pretty much cover it, which is awesome, so hopefully we've got plenty more videos to make in the near future. But as for what Smoothie does, um, she's an interesting unit. I mainly was going to only focus on Pirate Rumble, but after looking at her kit and I recorded like one or two clips, I decided I'll get a couple more clips and we'll go ahead and make a showcase video for her. So the way that she works is that she actually is not a colored based unit. She's actually building around in classes and two specific ones being Slasher and Powerhouse. If you use her as a captain, she's also going to provide you with minus one cooldown at the start of the quest, and then giving those two classes of both Powerhouse and Slasher a 5 times attack boost with a matching slot, 4.5 times otherwise, and also boosts their health by 1.3, and also provides strength and deck slots as matching to those characters, and also has a really nice added effect of the fact that your crew cannot be blown away, which is a very unique mechanic that only very select few characters actually have access to. You know, technically characters like Frankie and also the V1 Capone have access to it via their captain action effects. But then you've also got characters like, I believe Bartholomew Kuma has that ability. Um, Capone Crew, the V2 Capone unit has it. And also this unit has, I think also Legend Rogue has it too. So a lot of the PvP characters actually surprisingly have that ability. But of course, one of the big drawbacks of this character in general is the fact that it did debut on a Pirate Rumble banner, which ultimately means that this character does not have access to super typing, super classes, captain actions, etc. So the overall power level of this character is much lower compared to a generic Sugo Fest exclusive that may debut during a treasure map, Kizuna, or at the end of month banners, which is a bit underwhelming, unfortunately, because some of those PvP legends like a V2 Eneru, Nuke Borsalino, you know, Kuma and stuff like that, these are like fan favorite characters for some individuals out there. I know I'm just on high levels of copium right now because of Kuma getting absolutely shafted. But, uh, you know, the fact that this smoothie came out is exciting nonetheless, you know, finally getting a legend smoothie when she did. But the fact that she doesn't have some of these other capabilities, like other Sugo Fest exclusives, is ultimately a little underwhelming. But I guess the silver lining here is the fact that this character is actually a multi-class boosting character. Some of the previous Pyro Rumble characters that we've had, you know, Legend NL has only been boosting Psy characters, Borsalino boosting Strength X Quick. You had Kuma being a strength unit, you had Yorog being an int unit. And now you've got this smoothie who allows you to boost both the classes of Powerhouse and Slasher, and Powerhouse in particular is a big, big upgrade. Because Powerhouse, as we know, is probably one of the best classes in the game, probably best, you know, two or three classes in the game in its entirety. And the fact that this character can provide you with some type of boost, meaning that if, even if you don't have some of the really OP Powerhouse characters, you can still do something with this unit, which is actually very, very good. And I think overall, out of all of the Pirate Rumble Legends, she has the best Captain ability, in my opinion, because of the fact that, she, you know, she boosts those two classes, she also provides cooldown, the beneficial slots, a little bit of health boost, and then a little bit of a niche utility effect, which is kind of okay. And, you know, she actually may see play just due to the niche effect in her Captain ability alone. But now we can talk about her special, which is a 14 tone cooldown, which is actually pretty high. But the fact that when you use her as a captain, you do get the minus one cooldown. So it, it kind of mitigates it slightly, but still 14 turns naturally is pretty high. And it provides a 20% health cut that goes through all defensive effects to all enemies. And then it also reduces six turns of opposing enemies damage reduction effects, which is rainbow shield. So I like that a little bit of uh, added utility there. Speaking of utility, she also reduces 6 turns of your crew's despair and attack down duration, so that's a really nice effect. Reducing those 3 effects on your side and the enemy side of the field by 6 turns is actually very, very strong. 
Um, a lot of the times when characters have these key utility pieces, they'll only be, you know, five turn removal for rare recruits and even some legends and stuff. So the fact that this character can reduce up to six turns of it is just kind of nice, especially if you are aiming to use, you know, this character in a Kizuna clash, because in a lot of circumstances, when you're in a Kizuna, you know, for the first 30 odd levels, it'll be like five turns of a debuff, and then it'll eventuate to a plus one, which will go to six turns, and then you have to use uh, other support effects or other means in order to get around that. And this character can just remove six turns of that just naturally. So that's that's actually very, very big. But you have a utility sense of providing the really nice gimmick removal, but then also you have some great offensive capabilities where it goes on to state that if your captain is a powerhouse character, then you go ahead and give yourself a 2.5 times chain boundary for three turns and also extend the duration of base attack boosts on your crew by two turns. So the fact that this character does provide you with chain boundary effects is wicked, and this character can have access to a couple of pretty cool supports, namely like Legend Cracker, where if you're inflicted with a chain debuff, chain coefficient reduction, I believe also if you're inflicted with a bad chain lock as well, Cracker can remove three turns of it and then give you a chain boost, so you can stack a chain boost and a chain boundary together. Or alternatively, you could have the Int Rare Recruit Pero Spero that debuted with the V3 Big Mom and the V3 Marco batch. That support does attach to Smoothie and states that when you use the special, then you get a 0.4 chain boost. So there are actually like inbuilt chain boosting supports you can have to Smoothie to further the beneficial effects of the chain effects that she provides with her special. So I like that. I like that there's a little bit of key usage there. Also, the fact that Smoothie is a damage dealing special means that if you are running predominantly quick characters, you can actually go ahead and have, you know, the attack boost from Smoker, which is great. So you can have a Smoker attack boost of 1.75 on top of your chain boundary and utility effects. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool niche usages for Smoothie, but ultimately at the end of the day, if we're looking at this character, you know, in a vacuum, well, her abilities are good. You're probably not going to use her as a captain just due to the fact that you don't get access to a super class or a super typing special. However, you can go ahead and hybrid this character with some pretty phenomenal units. Characters like Versus Akainu is the one that would probably come to mind straight away. But also characters such as Hybrid Kaido if you're running, you know, a mono powerhouse centric team. That is definitely something that you could look into. So there's lots to love about the smoothie character for sure but it does also mean that you can't run a support like the Sweet Commanders on your crew because, you know, in the Sweet Commanders, Smoothie is a part of that, so a little bit of character overlap is never a good thing, and unfortunately, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, Big Mom Pirates do have the character overlapping issue, which is a bit of an issue right now, so hopefully see more supports come out for the Big Mom Pirates sometime in the near future. This character also has somewhat of a very unique support effect, which will only attach to Big Mom, Charlotte Katakuri, and also Charlotte Cracker, so a little bit restrictive in terms of who she can attach to, but it says that once per quest, if the enemy changes your slots, it reduces your crew's attack down duration by two turns, which is very weird, and then also will go ahead and change the supported character's slot only, either their empty block recovery tandem bomb G or unfavorable slot into a quick slot at the start of the crew's next turn. So I'm not really a big fan of this one, like I wouldn't have minded if the first, you know, four levels would change it into a quick slot, and then at the final level it at least gives you a matching slot because you're not always going to be attaching this to, you know, a quick unit. Um, the way that I kind of piece this together is, in my opinion, I feel like this character was kind of planned around the release of super class katakuri who was also a quick unit providing an attack boost or a or an orb boost depending on the situation i truly believe that this character was built to be used with that katakuri and you know if you run a, th this support on that katakuri he is a quick unit and it, that actually does make a lot of sense but i mean uh, it is what it is right it is what it is smoothie you're probably not going to see too much usage of, of her as a captain but as a crewmate, I think she's going to be a really valid option, and we've seen in previous treasure maps in the last couple of months where she's actually been a boosted character, some of her utility effects of 
the percent damage reduction removal and attack down removal, on top of also being quite offensively capable with chain boundary and really decent supports, and the fact that she boosts Powerhouse and Slasher in particular, she has been useful in key events in the past, so hopefully we see more of that in the future, but I know that characters such as this are going to be relatively uncommon because not too many people are going to pull that hard on a Pyre Rumble Sugarfest. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me, giving my thoughts and opinions on Smoothie. She's an interesting unit, but probably not a character I'm going to use too much in the grand scheme of things. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.